I woke up around midnight and I didn't know how much 15 crore was worth, is what Kyle Jamison said after being picked by Bangalore in the Indian Premier League auction. Kyle Jamison's story of climbing the ladder and becoming a top international player is a special story. He is 6 feet 8 inches tall, making him the tallest international cricketer for New Zealand ever and tied for the second tallest international cricketer of all time, along with Joel Garner. He can bowl over 140 kilometers an hour, and because of his height, produces extra bounce, which can cause a lot of problems for the batsman. So what's interesting about Kyle Jamison is that he started off primarily as a batting all-rounder in his early days as a cricket player, and had batting as his main priority. It wasn't until 2012, when he was around 17 or 18 years old, when he converted himself into primarily a bowler. This was thanks to Dale Hadley, brother of the great Sir Richard Hadley, who saw something special in him and groomed him to focus on his bowling. Since then, Henrik Milan had taken over as his bowling mentor, who was amazed to see Jameson's evolution as a cricketer over the years. Jameson's main goal now is to get to the all-rounder stage as a cricket player, where his lower order hitting ability can be trusted and developed just like his bowling is. The New Zealand cricket team's head coach, Gary Stead, had a lot of praise to give Jameson, saying, I think it's an amazing story, really. Kyle was 17 or 18 years old when he came down to Lincoln University, and he actually was a batsman, didn't really bowl at all. So for me to see that development in 6 or 7 years is a pretty amazing story in itself. What makes this story even more amazing is that just as he was starting off his process of turning into a genuine fast bowler, he represented New Zealand in the 2014 U19 World Cup and ended up as their second highest wicket taker taking 7 wickets in just 4 matches at an economy of just 4.51. His match against the West Indies in particular was interesting because he picked up 2 wickets in that match, the wickets of Shermont Hitmeyer and Nicholas Puran, two batsmen who have cemented their name in world cricket today. Not bad for someone who had just started their career as a fast bowler. Jameson had been playing for New Zealand Day on a regular basis over the years. He has played for New Zealand Day 13 times across all formats, picking up 15 wickets. His best figures of 4 for 49 came against India A in Christchurch in January of 2020. Jameson dismissed batsmen such as Gaikwad and Suryakumar Yadav in that match, and then later defended 7 off the final over to secure the match for New Zealand Day by 5 runs and the one-day series 2-1. He bowled out Sandeep Warrior and Ishan Porel of back-to-back balls to finish the match off for New Zealand Day. On New Year's Day in 2019, during the Super Smash Tournament, Jameson took the best figures by a bowler in a T20 match in New Zealand, and the 5th best bowling figures of all time in T20 cricket, when he took 6 for 7 in his 4 overs against Auckland. He was the leading wicket taker in the 2018-19 Super Smash Tournament, taking 22 wickets in 10 matches, numbers RCB fans would be licking their lips seeing. Jameson earned his first call up in Test cricket as a replacement for an injured Lockie Ferguson in Australia, due to the extra balance in Aussie pitches in recent first class form but didn't get a game until his debut against India. Since then, he has been exceptional in Test cricket, having played 6 games in total against teams like India, Pakistan, and the West Indies, having taken 36 wickets at an average of 13. Those are really unreal numbers. Jameson still has his childhood batting flair within him as well, and looks to expand on that as his career goes on. His list day average is 31.5 and strikes at 113. He has made 3 first class half centuries to go with 1 in list day cricket. His best innings came against an English attack back in a 2018 warm-up game, where he smashed 1-1 off 111 balls against a bowling attack that consisted of James Anderson, Stuart Broad, and Mark Wood and Hamilton. Kyle Jameson is here to stay, and here to rule. A cricket player like no other, a man who was born to be a fast bowler. In February 2020, he told the world that he was going to make massive strides, and so far in a short career, he has made massive strides. I can't wait to see him play under Virat Kohli's leadership for RCB. We saw Steve Smith's story of turning from a bowler to one of the greatest batsmen of our era. Could we see something similar for Kyle Jamison?